Hello Blender fans, this is the next tutorial and it is about merging two objects. In the end the object should look like that, so we have to merge two cylinders, so let's create them. Press Shift A, select cylinder, then it will be created and now I scale it down. And after I scaled it, I will apply the scale. Then I will remove the two faces here at the end and at the start. Then I will extrude the edge here at the bottom, press E and directly enter, then press S, 0 to fill this and then remove the doubles. I will use this method to fill the lower part of the model instead of the full circle because I don't want to have n-gons. That's a better topology when it comes to shading and importing it into a game engine, for example. Okay, let's add a new edge loop, then select this lower edge loop and scale it a little bit down to get a kind of bevel here at the bottom. Then I will add a second edge loop. Add it with Ctrl R and move it just like here. And now comes the interesting part. We will use the knife tool by pressing the K key, then left mouse button down, then press the C key to let it snap by 45 degrees, then press the C key to cut through the object, then left mouse button down again and return and look at this. We cut through this object. And then select the faces at the top, I use the circular select tool for this, and remove them. This is the first piece of our object. And then I change to object mode and duplicate this by pressing Shift D. Move it to the right along the X axis and then press R, set and 180 to rotate it. 180 degrees around the z-axis. OK. Now rotate it again around the, let's see, y-axis. R, then Y, and type in 270 or minus 90. And now let's snap it. Enable the snapping mode, two vertex, and then drag it, move it to the left till it snaps this vertex. Then move it down along the z-axis till it again snaps this vertex. And now select both objects and press Ctrl J to join them. Ok, now we have one object, but we have duplicated edges here. So select the whole object and press remove doubles and 32 doubles are removed and the object is perfectly merged. And my last improvement will be to select this edge here at the middle, press Ctrl B and add a bevel. Move the mouse wheel slightly to add a new edge, then enable smooth shading And we are done, here's our merge object as we want it to be. I think I will use this for the house model as a kind of handrail. We will see. Now you can grab particular parts of the model, scale them, move it around, change the shape, as you like. And in the end I switch to object mode and set the geometry to origin. Okay guys, if you like the video and if you like the channel, then press like and subscribe. And I hope you come back soon to JNM.